Here's how they want to keep the poor poor. Stay tuned. Well, so you've done the right thing and you worked hard and now it's time to buy your first new vehicle, right? And you're excited, never done this before, and you don't have a lot of money. Well, you're in luck. There still are some affordable cars out there, but there's a catch. And there's a lot of things that uh, people won't really think about when they're going out and they're buying that new car. And you have to have a bigger picture and really, really take everything into account. So the Nissan Versa. Absolutely love that car. I think that it's great. Gets good gas mileage. It, it's it got enough space. It's not big, but it's it's big enough and it, and it does a trick, right? Well, say you are a an average buyer and you might have missed a couple of payments over the years, right? You got a credit card in college or something like that. And your credit score is like a 675 or 700. Well, first off, the interest rates are still atrocious and I'm going to make another video about those. But the main hidden cost here and a lot of people aren't really thinking about this, is the biggest scam of them all. And that is car insurance. So the Nissan Versa, for someone who has less than perfect credit and maybe, you know, got into an accident over the years or something like that, right? Speeding ticket, I think that the average person would have probably one of those by the time that they're maybe 30, 35 years old, something, right? Or, or they're young, even worse. A Nissan Versa will cost you, on average, $2,800 a year on car insurance. And that is if, like, you're in kind of, like, perfect conditions, right? That That's the average. And we're not talking about... Um, combining things like, oh, homeowner insurance discounts and all these other variables. Keep in mind, right, there's going to be like no perfect one-size-fits-all scenario. But broadly speaking, certain vehicles have insanely high insurance costs. So another buyer that might be picking up the, the Nissan Versa or the Mitsubishi Mirage, right, They've got a very subprime credit. And now their, you know, their new car loan is going to be probably anywhere from 9 to 14%. And their insurance, I've seen quotes as high as $391 a month for full coverage, which is required, you know, if you have a, an auto loan. So... The vast majority of people won't be paying cash and might not be the best move to only have liability insurance on a brand new vehicle, <laughs> you know, but that's your choice if you want to roll the dice. I'm not a fan of insurance. You know, I think it's a, a racket. The increases that they have been allowed to impose on people is just absolutely sickening. You know, it's, it's tragic. But since 2020, they have gone up. Some are as high as 60% increase in the span of, you know, three years. Mostly one, one to two years, honestly, for the bulk of that. So you say, all right, great, Mr. Rev Nation. That's all uh, good news. So what are we supposed to do? Well, if you look at a five-year cost of ownership and i'm going to do a lot more of these videos is the difference in price based on all the factors right so you got to take into account what these vehicles are going to cost you over the span of that five years so you have to look at fuel costs insurance maintenance repairs 
right? And uh, most of all, depreciation. So that Nissan Versa or Mitsubishi Mirage will cost you an average of $40,000 potentially over the span of five years, right? And you're thinking about like, what? $40,000, this is like a, a $19,000 car. A uh, Toyota Tacoma or Ford Maverick will cost you an average of like $38,000. So you have to kind of take those things into account. It might be better off to get that more expensive vehicle. And I fully understand that, you know, those monthly payments uh, are, are a huge part of this, right? So, yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. Like, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? So you got to get maybe the, uh, the truck or the SUV that's a bit less fuel efficient and it might cost more but in the long run it may end up actually costing you less especially if you know you keep your vehicles for a long time and yeah it's disgusting what the insurance companies are doing man but these are some things to think about so sometimes that cheap car is not the right move